Woo doggy. Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillip. Got some breaking news for you. This is amazing, amazing stuff. The Buccaneers have signed wide receiver Julio Jones to a one-year deal. It, this is amazing. Uh, we, we don't have any details released yet on the signing, but this is incredible. You know, I had done a video a few months back talking about whether we were going to get him or not. It appears that they have pulled off a miracle. This is this is amazing. I, you know, we've got <laughs> we've got Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, who it looks like was going to be a day one starter after his knee injury last year. Uh, and we signed Russell Gage in the offseason. I mean, that right there is a commanding wide receiver room. But you add Julio Jones to that mix. There's no question we have the best wide receiver room in the NFL by far. You know, people say that Julio Jones has probably dropped off his age and blah, blah, blah that good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's true. And he's not really a, a deep threat guy as far as speed is concerned. But what he does offer, and this is what I have said for years and years and years, watching him on the All-22, you know, we play against him every year, except for last year when he was with uh, Tennessee. The The guy is incredibly strong. He is the best blocker in the NFL to wide receiver position. I mean, he decletes guys. We're talking linebackers. Uh, I can't tell you how many times he knocked Levante David down or uh, uh, Devin White. I mean, he just, he goes after guys. He's an amazing blocker. This is definitely going to help our run game. It's going to help our receiving game. And you know, Mike Evans is incredible, incredible for jump balls. He, he'll catch anything in traffic. Julio Jones is the same way. I mean, th these guys are just going to be catching balls left and right. Now, I, I don't know where Julio Jones is going to be in the roster, whether he's going to be wide receiver two or three. Uh, he might even be wide receiver four. Who knows? You know, Russell Gage, he, he might get the uh, third spot or, or at least the, the, the second spot. Who knows? Who knows? We know Mike Evans is going to be number one. That's always going to be. But, man, this is incredible. Julio Jones. Wow. And we're going to see some good stuff this year out of the wide receivers. There's no doubt about that. Man, and this is going to really help our secondary during practice, too. I mean, they're going to have to go up against beasts all day long. There are going to be some good good cornerbacks in this room. They are getting uh, – they're, they're going to get some serious, serious practice going on here. And Like I said, Julio Jones, his blocking is elite. Best blocker in the – uh, in the in the NFL at the wide receiver position, I don't think there's anybody that comes close to him, and he enjoys it. I mean, he's a very physical guy. Whew, man, I'm excited about this. It's just I've, for years I've been watching him, and it, you know, if you if you listen to the podcast and everything, I've always said Julio Jones is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Uh, not necessarily as far as his catching and route running is concerned, but when you add in all the things that wide receivers are supposed to do, you know, like blocking. He just he's he's just up there in all of it, and for us to get him, I'm I'm extremely excited about this. I mean, I'll tell you what, we're building a team again. I mean, this is this is amazing. Uh, it's sad that you know Sue and and JPP and those guys aren't going to be back, but it seems like we're we're building the roster up again, man. You got to hand it to Jason Light. These guys these guys ain't playing around. Uh, also, other news: we did release uh, tight end Cody McElroy. Uh, we waived him. With an injury designation, uh, the team just announced that. Now, if he clears the waivers, which he probably will, he'll automatically revert to uh, in the injured reserve list. Uh, he's been with the Buccaneers since 2019, I believe. I think he's got one catch for you know, a few yards, maybe like 30 yards or something like that. He's played with other teams in the league too, but you know, he's just bounced around. Uh, no big whoop there. We got our tight end set, I think, with Kyle Rudolph and Cameron Brait. Uh, but so exciting, exciting news. Uh, training camp starts tomorrow. And, man, it looks like uh, we're, we're going in with it with a bang. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we are going to have a podcast out, me and Molly, soon. So uh, keep your eye out for that or your ear out if you want to listen to it. You know, we're on all the regular podcast channels, uh, iTunes, uh, Spotify, all that good stuff. Uh, we also put the video up here on YouTube. So we'll have that out soon. We haven't forgot about you guys. Just we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we will tell you about everything that's happened in our lives and why uh, we've been kind of dis or not uh, putting out as much content as we normally do. 
Uh, but hey, guys, this is exciting, exciting news, exciting. I, I'm just thrilled to death with it. But hey, until next time, go Bucks. <laughs>